Okay, so before we get into the actual um, 3D simulation mode, um, one thing I just want to mention, and this will actually pertain to the 3D mode as well, is when you switch from a plane to the flow lines, you see you get an extra category that actually that says lines, and this um, gives you three different options and or types of lines um, that you can switch to. So you can make them tubes, um, you can make it smoke. Um, smoke is probably one of the best ones to be able to start to read you know, kind of the wind patterns especially when you get to 3d um, particles is another good one as well and then the same with all of these you get the settings where you can you know so I'm on particles or I can increase the count to have a whole bunch um, speed I have all the way up already size I can make the particles huge I can make them really small um, where I can't see them anymore um, you know, or I could you know, get somewhere in the middle. Um, particles length doesn't really make a difference. But if I switch over to smoke, you can see, um, you know, you get the same with smoke. I can increase the count. Or I can make it tiny. Speed I already have way up. Size I can make it big. Length of the actual smoke lines and how long they go before before they draw themselves um, we'll get that you know you'll see that um, how better how much better that is with 3d so I'm gonna switch over to the 3d mode so now basically what this does is it switches everything to um, three you know basically to a 3d analysis You know, base, uh, same same settings, and you can see since my file is so big, um, it's taking a while to load this, and this is because I'm in plane, um, and I have surface pressures turned on. So this is, and it's just a 3D. This is the extra category that you get um, for the tabs, and this is surface pressure. So at all times, it displays the surface pressure that the wind is creating on all the different faces uh, maybe good to have for your building obviously you really don't care about the surrounding buildings um, so if it's dragging down your file you can just turn it off and now it's not displayed um, so when you're in 3d um, you can still see you still get the plane so you still have the plane that you can drag you know wherever you want but when you switch to um, Eiffel surfaces, you can actually Eiffel um, ISO surface I've never used, but you can start to see it's doing some weird things. Uh, basically, it kind of just creates a surface of where the wind's hitting the most, and it starts to show you surfaces that are color coded with the actual velocity of the wind. Um, I don't use that one that much, um, but for flow lines, if you switch over to flow lines. You can see now that there are flow lines for the whole extent of you know the this cube. You know this kind of cube thing that you got going on um, here. And again, this is where you can start to switch to. So I'm going to switch to smoke, count, speed I already have up, size I'm going to make tiny. And then so it's just working to calculate everything and if you also go to the settings tab you can see um, this last box right here that says show seed manipulation so if you click on if I click on that what this does is this gives you a box and you actually you have to keep this window open so it can just kind of move this down and it basically gives you a box of from what point to what you know to the end point that all the you know the lines are flowing so obviously if you're on my kind of site it's just that little area I can bring this back I can even bring this forward if I wanted to um, then you have sides 
Um, that you can stretch it on the side. So you can see here after I rotated that it sticks out a little bit more than you know the actual plane when I had the plane. Um, so I can extend this, but you can see here that those unfortunately bees don't follow over. Um, so you gotta hope that your the area that you want to um, analyze for your building stays within this, or um, we'll have to try to you know to look at it to you know try to manipulate it before we export it so it'll it'll come in correctly, um, especially after you rotate. I mean you can tell when you first import it. Um, it comes in, you know, directly centered and everything's taken care of. But if you have, you know, different shapes and you start to export, um, it gets, uh, you know, some of it can start to get cut off. Um, luckily for mine, um, my building, which is right here, is completely contained within the area, so I'm all set. I um, don't believe there's a way that we can make this bigger. You know, if I could just stretch this, that would be nice. Um, that's something that I'll look into to see um, if I can actually find out how to do that. Um, but I don't believe there is a way. Um, and then also, you can control the height. You know, so if your building's not that tall, you, know, you can see how high that was. I can stretch it so it's all the way down. So, you know, maybe in line with the highest part of my building. Um, it's, you know, that I have. And then now I can zoom into my area, to my building, and I can start to test. Um, I can start to see the flow lines. So I'll make sure this goes over down far enough. Obviously it's not going to go past anything. It won't go past this kind of plane that it has for the program itself. So this is my building, and you can start to see, you, know, you can start to tell how everything's flowing. If it's hard to read, um, you can make sure the window's open, you can adjust the count, um, the length, the speed if you want to slow them down, and then the size, I'm just going to let the count back up. And you know you can start you know for this one you can see kind of like the curved shape that I was taking for the wind. See this one right here how it's flowing around. This was smoke. If I switch over to line, you can start to see lines. You can see how those flowing around and over um, that it's doing particles. Sometimes, part of, sometimes particles are the easiest way to read since they're so small. And then you can just make a ton of them. And then you can always, um, you can see how when I was at 3,000, I was kind of at the max that it could go. But then you can just manipulate uh, this. I don't know. Actually, 3,000 is the max, so I don't know what that is. Speed, I can increase the speed. And then some particles you can kind of start to see somewhat a little bit better. And how they kind of flow around stuff. But there's different, you know, there's always different things that you can do. You know, if you want to play with stuff. You know, just like wind. Oh here, you know, this is smoke, so you can see, you know, whatever settings I picked in, um, you know, for the particles, they're, you know, making it really hard to read with smoke, so you have to change your smoke. Um, or the other thing you can do, too, is, you know, with that manipulation box, going slow. Orientate myself. Just 
respect to part of this recently. So, um, should I keep it with team? Um, so you can see here how it's just, obviously, like as I mentioned before, it's just in the area of the box. So if I set that to there, you can see how it stopped a little bit. So if there's like a certain point from maybe this point on, I want to start seeing what my building is, you know, what it's doing around my building, I can pull it past that point. So you, you can see this is still my building, but I stopped that box right here so I can start to see a certain point on the building and how stuff is, you know, how the wind is flowing around it. So that's pretty much flow design. Best to, I mean, it's a very simple program to use. Basically, it's, as I mentioned before, it's just a wind tunnel. Um, so, I mean, it's the best of all. So, I mean, it's just surface pressure zoomed in. So you can see what it does, you know, how it shows your surface pressure. So, I mean, the best thing to do is just kind of, you know, Bring in your models and start to play with them. Um, see how they look. Get a feel for the program itself. Um, as I mentioned, best thing to do, you know, if you guys want to kind of start to test stuff, is uh, open one of those kind of uh, models, the demolition models that came, uh, demonstration models that came with the program to kind of get a feel for it um, before you bring in your own. Um, you can see here what this the site is making the size of the site and you know the counts and everything of all the wind it's making this go really slow um, the points make it go the fastest but when you start to switch to smoke and lines and particles I mean uh, when you start to switch to you know lines tubes are smoking and, and there's a lot of them that can start to bog down the program um, Maybe the, the last two things I want to mention are just this pull down. Um, so up near this kind of uh, the navigation cube with this pull down, you have different view types. Um, so right now we're in perspective. We do perspective with ortho faces. Um, doesn't really make a difference. Um, or it can do orthographic, which kind of makes it more of a straight line type of deal home will send you back to the you know kind of like the side elevation that it comes in as when you first open it and that's, that's pretty much it for that so this the status um as I mentioned before so transient means that it's working and then obviously um if you pay attention when you start to switch stuff up, it'll say calculated or determining results. I forget what it says exactly. And uh, that ends this part of the tutorial. Um, the last part I am going to, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to bring into um, uh, kind of like a with a roof taken off and he didn't. Um, taking a, uh, windows out and stuff like that so we can start to see buildings, you know, how wind is flowing inside the building and stuff like that.